Thanks for joining us in the University Health Center Nutrition Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be making a quick spicy noodle bowl with all the ingredients you see laid out here. We'll be making a basic sauce and then adding a couple veggies. I use fettuccine noodles, but you can really use whatever you have available, whether that's rice noodles or lo mein noodles. While the noodles cook, which is really gonna be the longest part of your recipe, we'll, oops, be making a quick sauce. So we're just gonna take one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, I use low sodium, and then one tablespoon of sriracha, and then whisk it all together. Cooking the noodles is really the most time consuming part of the recipe, so you could actually probably make this in less time than it takes to watch this video, depending what you're using. So we'll just whisk them all together using a fork, nothing fancy. And then next up, we're going to crack an egg. Um, now, when you crack an egg, you definitely want to do it on a flat surface and preferably not on your bowl. That'll really reduce the chance that you get little shards of eggshell falling into your mixture and you don't want to have to be fish fishing those out. Um, we'll just whisk it with a fork, going quickly back and forth. So sometimes when people whisk, they tend to do things like kind of drag the fork around or kind of stir it softly, but you really want to agitate as much as you can to emulsify that mixture. Now that we've whisked our egg, we're just gonna start heating up our pan. I'm using some Earth Balance margarine, which is a plant-based margarine that I like just because it's a little bit lower in saturated fat, but you could really use whatever you prefer, butter, margarine, olive oil, or even canola oil, whatever you have on hand will work. You just wanna keep that egg from sticking. So I'm gonna spread it all around because I know my pan tends to not lay exactly flat on my stove top. And then we'll pour the egg into the pan and cook it up. It won't take long because it's just one scrambled egg. There's not much to it. This is kind of like scrambling an egg for fried rice, which rice would actually be a really great substitute for the noodles in this dish if you had some extra rice laying around as well. I'll top it with about a quarter teaspoon, which I just eyeballed, of red pepper flakes. And we'll just let that egg cook up. And scramble it around as it starts to cook. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to chop up a couple veggies. I use this green onion that I got through the Athens Farmers Market and the Collective Harvest CSA. I think it's really nice to incorporate local produce into meals, really whenever possible. Um, so I've got a green onion and then just a little carrot that I chopped up. So neither really needs to get fully cooked, just warmed up. Once your noodles have cooked, you can go ahead and drain them and then add them to your egg and veggie mixture and just stir everything around to incorporate it. And this recipe makes between one and two servings. It could be kind of two smaller servings or one heartier portion, really just depending on your appetite. Um, now that we've got our noodles and our veggies mixed together, go ahead and add the sauce, mix it around. I'm trying to just get that last little bit of sauce out of my container without using another spoon. <laughs> um, and really now we're done. So, um, Thank you for stopping by. The Health Promotion Department at the University Health Center is here to offer support and keep you connected during spring 2020. Check out our Be Well UGA at homepage for our other virtual programs and services.